Avengers Endgame. Sorry for this late review. I'm here to review it now. I'm not going to give any spoilers away. I'm sure enough critics on YouTube have done enough of that already. But I'm just going to... I'm just going to review nothing more. It takes place after the events of Infinity War. Where... Um, where they all try to adjust of what Thanos has done. And uh, over the next few years, they make the best out of it. The best way they can. But then Ant-Man gets released from his... Remember at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp, he gets released from this little cycle he was in. Even though it's been years for Ant-Man, it feels like a few hours. And when he comes to the Avengers and tells them what happened, they discover they could use what Ant-Man had to time travel and go back in time and correct everything that Thanos has done. But the question is, will they? Well, you'll have to see the movie to find out. Man, I'm so glad this movie came out. I liked Infinity War, but after Infinity War, you're just you're really hoping it wasn't going to be the end and thank goodness it wasn't it um, it's pretty good I mean it's it's a three hour movie but it doesn't feel like it's three hours it, I mean it does slow down in spots but but it's very well paced I mean it feels like the movie is devised in chapters in so many ways you know they have a a lot of good epic a good epic battle scene and uh, everybody gives a good performance it's a great character study it's not just a superhero movie it's sometimes it's a most of the time it's a very good character study of certain of the certain main characters I mean their story arc really comes alive in some moments of the film and and if you're asking, does anybody die? Yeah, two main characters die. It's not who you think. I'm not going to say who they are. In case you haven't seen any spoilers for this movie. I'm looking forward for the Marvel Universe and where it's going after this. I mean, I'm looking for new main characters to come out and what new main characters we haven't seen in the Marvel Universe yet. Everybody gives a good performance. Robert Downey Jr. is always great as Tony Stark. Chris Evans is good as Captain America. Scarlett Johansson is excellent as Black Widow. I mean, they do show... They all really give it their all in this one. And, uh, I'm... Yeah, like I said, it's it's... It's really good. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's very well put together. I mean, Chris Hemsworth is great as Thor. You'll see a little changes in his character <laughs> in a funny way. And I gotta say, it just really takes the Marvel Universe in a new direction that I'm hoping to see more of in future films. Well, I'm going to say one character's story arc does come to an end. Not the way you think, but it does. Josh Brolin is always good as Thanos. He was good in the first film, but he's just as good here. And everybody seems to give it their all in this one. So I give Avengers Endgame a 10 out of 10. Bye-bye.